Hello, I'm uh, Eric, uh, Franco-British, living in the UK for 15 years in the South Coast. Um, I, um, I'm 62, I'm a businessman, um, I'm a partner in a large consulting, business consulting firm, but I have as well two businesses of my own, um, which means I'm very busy. <laughs> And um, I never find really time to uh, to take care of myself, and uh, ended up having difficulties to uh, to see the person in the mirror, um, and uh, and to accept this person. I mean, uh, in my in my brain, uh, I'm still the same person that I was when I was twenty, basically. And um, of course, this person is not at all the same today and uh, it was very difficult for me to uh, to accept that and to uh, to live with it um and um i was overweight uh, i'm still overweight but uh, thanks to the program i've made a lot of changes in my life and um and these changes are sticky so um that's the the good news um i have in the last 30 years i mean i've tried, I don't know, more than 20 different diets, etc., which always worked in the way that I lost weight, but I always gained them back uh, after. So um, it was important for me to find a different way to do that. And uh, thanks to, to Alex and his program, it's, uh, it's where I am at the moment because things have really changed in my life and uh, um, not just physically, but as well, my approach to uh, uh, um, to priorities and uh, life, etc. It has helped me as well in my couple, uh, and um, yeah. So that, that that's basically a, a transformation rather than just a diet, and it's where it, it actually makes it more sticky. And I guess Eric, if you cast your mind back to January, right when you were thinking about joining up to the program, what was it? You know what were you feeling or what were you going through personally that meant you were looking for help you know external help to, to, to help you move forwards well d different things first uh, i i had a, a kind of a, a, a crisis couple a few months before and uh without entering into details uh i needed to uh, to change a few things as well on on uh, on who i am and, and how i uh, um and my priorities of course um spend a lot a lot of time uh working for my personal business but as well for my uh, official executive role and um th that was not possible to do continue like this anymore um at the same time i felt very tired um because physically i was lacking energy etc and uh um uh, yeah, the, the image of this fat guy on the mirror uh, really uh, annoyed me <laughs> more and more. And um, I mean, when you are above 60, you are getting old faster as well. So um, it was not going in the right direction. So I just needed to do something and something different from what I, I tried before. So uh, uh, it's why I was uh, very happy to, uh, to have found this, uh, this program. And so stepping into Reignite Pro, right, we, we talk about mm -hmm. goals, performance coaching being outcome specific. You know, you choose the things you want to work on and towards, and then we coach you towards those. What was what were the goals that you hoped to achieve, you know, stepping into Reignite Pro? Well, of course, I had a, a, a weight goal, that's for sure, uh, to, to physically uh, feel um Feel better um, and uh, and actually lose weight uh, for for good. Um, but I had as well some other uh, uh, key objectives. Um, one being able to uh, to better accept who I am today um, uh, with uh, with my weaknesses, with my uh, uh, my qualities, etc. Um, be at peace with that. I would say um and, and of course as i said earlier uh improve my uh, uh my, my couple of relationships so th these three elements um went together and uh um so that's why i say it's not just a a, a physical kind of, of coaching it, it's really a, a a personal transformation and uh 
uh, that's why I was happy about, about it. And so, you know, we spent 12 weeks coaching together. Like, mm -hmm. what's your experience on the program? What were some of the things that you did, you know, during the three months that we spent together? What was your, you know, your, your sort of key takeaways? Well, my, my key takeaway is that it has really transformed <laughs> uh, who I am and, and how I behave. Um, I mean, uh, I was doing about half an hour to one hour exercise per week, plus a bit of walking uh, when I had time. Um, now it's basically four to five times a week. Um, so four to five hours a week um which is very different it has an impact on my body of course but has an impact as well on my uh, psyche and uh um that that's that's great and it it has now become a habit and i don't imagine living any other way i mean um we'll see when i reach too old for exercising and if i can sustain that uh or when i retire i have the money for going to the gym etc but uh, yeah, and it's, it's really um, now a, a routine that I, uh, that I will not change. And that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, uh, one of the week you, um, you ask us to try the, uh, the 5 a.m. wake up uh, to give more time to do something different, um, you know, uh, whether it is physical exercise, whether it is um, uh, personal um, uh, reflections and, um, and things like that. And I decided to keep it. So um, I'm basically waking up at 5 a.m. during the week, not the weekend, uh, since, well, for the past three months now. And um, again, I don't, I don't see it any other way now um, because it, it, in conjunction with what I said earlier, it, it has me to go to gym early morning, to be at gym at 6, um, to be back at uh, 8.15, 8, 8.20. And... Uh, and start my, my day of work. So it, it, it helps to do a lot more things than I was able to do before, but without altering my, uh, my working time. So um, that's, um, that's great. And it gives me much more uh, energy as well um, during the day. Um, I sleep a bit earlier as well, which is not bad. <laughs> um, and um, the, the only annoyance is, of course, um, my wife is not 100% happy with that <laughs> because when I wake up at five, she tends to wake up as well yeah. to, to sleep back afterwards. But, you know, it's a, it's a bit more difficult. So it's a habit that, um, you know, that we have to, to learn to live together uh, on, on this. But, uh, yeah, it, it has helped me. And, and the third key element is uh, meditation. Um, Again, when I don't go to gym uh, early morning, I have time now for, as well for, for meditation. Um, I, I've always been interested with that, but I never had really time to embrace it or have the right tools to help me doing it properly. Uh, and you yeah, have helped me to get access to this material. And um, it, yeah, it helps me to, uh, um, to be at peace with myself um, much better than before. And so like one of the things that can sometimes happen, right, is uh, as you get older, you take on more responsibility, time becomes more of a, a commodity, right? It's difficult to find it and prioritize it. And, you know, you're in a, a senior position, you have two other businesses that you run in addition. You know, you, you could argue that before the Reignite Pro program, just getting like an hour to exercise. But what, what, what do you say to those people that, you know, say that I don't have enough time. What, what's what's your kind of thoughts for, on that? Well, I didn't have enough time before already. So indeed, um, I mean, um, yeah, I, I'm working 70 hours a week um, in average. So it doesn't give much time to do anything else. Um, but really th this this idea of waking up basically two hours earlier than I did before and using these two hours not for work but for, for me for doing something else myself it, it is what has transformed uh, uh, my life because it gives me time to go to gym to 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 um uh, yeah to, to, to do something else and uh 
I would never have been able to do that before. Sometimes uh, people can think, I'm, I don't know if you were one of them, but sometimes when you come onto a program, you can think I'm going to have 12 weeks clean sailing, right? And that probably wasn't the case that, that we had right over the last three months. What, what were some of the challenges that you faced into over the last 12 weeks? Well, the, the very first challenge was convincing my wife to invest the money. <laughs> um, because, um, well, first, I, I, uh, I prefer to have a one-to-one -one kind of, um, uh, of approach, new program, so it's the, the most expensive one. Um, but I know myself, I know it, it what corresponds to, to who I am and, and how, how I, I work, so I, I was happy to do it. Um, but my wife was not privy about discussions and, uh, um, you know, kind of, a, again, another diet and this one very expensive and said, no, it's not a diet. It's a very different. It's a, it's a coach. It's a, so yeah, it has required some, some convincing. Um, but we eventually got there and, and she has seen the results. She has seen the difference. And, uh, uh and I think she's now very happy about the investment. <laughs> and um see that it, it's uh yeah it, it's a drop in the water compared to to the impact it has on our my life but it's one on our life all together so it's uh, money well spent actually um th that's the first thing the second thing is um obviously th there are some moments there are some weeks where you know you tend to drop the ball a little bit uh say well uh, I'm tired, I, I don't have the energy, I don't have the motivation, etc. So you have to kick your butt to stay into it. Uh, but you're not alone, you're here to help and support. And um, it, 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 it's great because it's, um, I mean, when you get over that, um, it, it happens, you know, it happened to me a couple of weeks during the, the 12 weeks uh, where I felt not really in a, into it um but you do it anyway and uh, uh and actually it, it, you're, you're proud of it and it's uh it, it it reinforces your commitment in the long term because you have seen already these kind of hurdles where yeah you tried and and you didn't make it so um it has helped me to um to stick to to the program uh another aspect of it on the uh, exercises physical um elements is um from time to time, I didn't believe I could do it. I mean, uh, there are some different elements of, of growth or, or increase, you know, do a bit more and then a bit more and then a bit more. Uh, I've never been very uh, sportive or, or physical, etc. cetera. And, uh, and the thing is, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. But just one or two things that probably um, I, I've not been able to, to deliver, but I've surprised myself in... Um, in how far I could go compared to what I thought I could uh, uh, I could actually do uh, uh, physically and uh, increasing the weight in you know in, in the dumbbells, uh, increasing the um, the number of movements, the sequence, the speed. Yeah, um, and I continued to do it and I continue to increase. I mean, you're not with me anymore, but it doesn't matter. The journey continues, right? So uh, that's the good news. And that and that's it, right? This is the. You know, I talk about motivation and inspiration starting on, on like a curve like this, right? Motivation requiring the external stimulus, you know, in this case, a coach to help, you know, move you, catapult you, get some movement behind you. And then inspiration being inspired to take action. You know, I'm not coaching you anymore and the weights are still going up. The 5 a.m. alarm clock is still going off. You're still exercising, right? Yeah. Maybe what one thing obviously is... Um... I did not uh, deliver 100% of my objective in terms of weight. Um, I've lost 14 pounds, but um, my objective was uh, 21 or something. Um, so it, it, I'm not exactly there yet. Uh, but as I said, it's not because 12 weeks are gone that I'm finished. So I continue to uh, to work on this, and uh, I've, I've lost another two pounds since so since the end. So uh, yeah, let's continue the, the fight and. Um, uh I, I will get there lower than expected but i will get there nice 
Well, like, um, what, what would you say, you know, out of some of the pillars that we use, we use it like a specific framework. So we obviously have the exercise pillar. We have like nutrition pillar, which is looking at conscious consistency, you know, balancing energy equations and then health. We've got the pillar that looks at morning and evening routines. And we've got the pillar that looks at, you know, mindset. Did you have, you know, a greater affinity to any one or, or sort of couple of pillars more than another? I, I will respond to your question the other way around. I would say that I have more difficulties with one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Which is the evening routine, because um, this, this one is, is more difficult for me. Um, morning, exercise, nutrition is, is, is fine. Um, but yeah, evening routine is, is more difficult. Um, not difficult in a way that uh, I, I, I don't do it, but um, I didn't see as much change because I'm, you know, I'm very organized, very structured, very uh, already. So uh, the fact, uh, you know, not to have a phone uh, uh, overnight, the fact to prepare for the next day, to to, to have um, your, your planning, etc. I mean, all these kind of things I was already doing. So I I, I did not see much difference on on this um, uh, on, on this pillar compared to um to the others okay nice and i remember you saying something like um in our final session it was something like uh you know i wish i'd done this 15 years ago you know i, I wish i'd kind of got help or I'd, I'd, I'd lost weight like what did you mean by that and and you know what why did you say that well because it would probably have helped me to be more uh, the person I, I want to be for, for longer. I mean, I'm at the end of my um, uh, of my career, for instance. Um, I have another three to four years to go, but um, it's it going to its end. So if I had done this kind of thing 15, 20 years ago, um, I, I would have had more energy, more, more will, more, uh, uh, you know, and better appreciate the person I am um rather than you know always fighting against this image and this person on the mirror um but if 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 i if i'm completely honest i'm not sure if i would have been able to do it 15 years or 20 years ago um because probably i was not mature enough probably i didn't have uh enough will to to do something like this sure. um I mean, if I would have had that 20 years ago, it would have been fantastic. And maybe uh, with another coach, because you would have been too young at that time. But, um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it has to be the right moment. It has to be the, the moment where you can actually commit, where you can um, psychologically, you you know, you will, you will do something. Uh, you cannot just do that halfway. Um, uh, it has to be full on. And... Uh, and it has to be the right moment. I guess, you know, sort of maybe final sort of question here. Quite often, you know, I talk to a lot of guys in their 50s, their 60s, and one of the themes that I sometimes get is, you know, I'm, I kind of think that I'm over the hill. You know, I think I'm on the way out. You know, it, I you know, can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's, it's too difficult. I don't have enough time. Like, What's your kind of thoughts to, you know, anyone in that kind of age bracket? Like, what would your advice be to them, I guess? I mean, it's, it's never too late. Um, I mean, maybe if you're 85 or something, I may not recommend to, to start a strong physical change. But 60, even 70s, I, I mean, I, I, I don't see that too late. You still have 10, 15, 20 good years to live. Um, and... Uh, it's, it's really a question of will and to see if it's the right moment for you uh, in, in your life to, to do this kind of thing. Um, for me, it was now uh, because I had this personal crisis uh, at home and uh, it was the, uh, the moment anyway to change something uh, if I didn't want to lose my, my family. So, yeah, it's, um, you, you need the right triggers because, yeah, it's demanding. Uh, yes, it's it's money, 
uh, but it, it's it's demanding. It, it, you you need to uh, you know to go over the hurdles and and actually do it. Um, so you need the right level of motivation. Um, hence, hence it had to be the right moment. And this right moment is different for everyone. But if it's at seventy five, it's at seventy five. It doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't see that as a as a problem. And uh, you don't do it just for the um, uh, for, for the rest of your two, three, or five years at work. You do the, this as well for after, when you are retired, um, because you still have your 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 your, fa your your wife, your family. You still have maybe something else that you will do and enjoy doing after you retire, as I will. Um, so it's it's the life doesn't stop when you when you retire. Uh, it's another life that starts. So it's why it's important to uh, to consider this change as well uh, uh, at that time. Nice. Well, look, Eric, thank you for kind of coming on, sharing your thoughts, giving us um, an insight into your journey. Um, De Dennis, I'll, um, I'll pop a link in the chat, uh, which is you know, I kind of said uh, in the in the pre-event to this. Anyone that sort of jumps on. Or, or wants to take advantage of a, of a free breakthrough session, we'll share that. So I'll, I'll pop that in the chat. But, you know, seeing as it's a, a fairly closed group, did you have any questions um, or, you know, I insights or, or thoughts from what Eric was say saying no, there? That you no, no, I didn't have any because I went through the same thing a few years ago and I, I started losing weight and just as well COVID hit. And so I didn't have the problem, you know, when you work from home and all the temptations are around you, you know. Mm. Because you can exercise, you can walk out, you can go on the streets, things like that. But I'm trying to do as much activity as I can, you know, keep keep busy, you know. Mm. Well, you know, it, uh, as it happens, I, um, I'm working from home typically uh, four days a week. Um, Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I'm generally um, uh, outside traveling um, three days um, from uh, Tuesday to, uh, to to Thursdays. So I have been able to experience both um, the program through um, being at home or being outside, and it, it actually can work in both ways um, because. I, I prefer when I can to to go to gym because it's more motivating for me and um, uh, you know it, it's who I am. But in the program we have as well uh, solutions to actually do that at home without uh, a lot of equipment. Uh, very very simple things, a couple of uh, you know uh, uh, dumbbells and 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 that's it. Um, so yeah, you can really um, find ways to adjust based on on your your style of living. Yeah, yeah, um, and it works. Awesome. Well, look, um, a big thank you, Eric, for jumping on, uh, and and Dennis for um, yeah, thanks, Alex. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's good to good to meet you, and uh, I hope you guys have an awesome bank holiday. Um, stay safe, enjoy it, and be happy. All right, take care. Yeah, bye, 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 bye.